Hi, this is Ask Brock, and I'm fully vaccinated Brock Yorty, 2021 Pfizer alumni. This week's question comes from Anthony. Brock, how do you change a manager's attitude when he believes it's everyone else's fault they don't want to work with him? It's an excellent question, Anthony. And, you know, uh, we hear it a lot right now throughout the country. Uh, they're being paid to stay at home. There's this and that. You know, uh, our industry needs young people. This is uh, definitely a young person, woman or man's game. And Gen Z, they just graduated high school. They're, uh, they're finishing a technical college right now. They're on summer break trying to figure out if college is going to be remote this fall or what's going to happen. I don't believe those are the people that are uh, refusing if that's what it's supposed to be or are in unfortunate situations of not wanting to work. But it is a company's culture, right? If uh, a manager believes nobody wants to work with him because it's their fault, we need to uh, have him go stand in a mirror, have her stand in the mirror and ask, um, would my friends want to come work with me right now? That's exactly what we need to have them ask. Make that the plan. And maybe this is a colleague or maybe you are the boss and you're trying to figure out how recruitment works and you go and you, uh, you say, if uh, the folks we've been choosing don't want to come work with you, they get burned out, they leave, they go decide to do something else. Do you have any friends right now that want to come work with you? And if uh, they scoff and go, I, I don't have friends that would want to think it's fun to work with me, then I think we have a great, uh, you know, vision of where we need to go next. And we talk about this a lot. There are a lot of great um, teaching tools out there from YouTube videos of Simon and Yako and Brene Brown and Bob Sutton, Patrick Leccioni, um, Malcolm Gladwell, Talking to Strangers. I think everybody needs to read that book. Uh, there's great podcasts. Uh, I, I really like the Leaders Drink Last podcast. Uh, I love the Jake Fletcher Toolbox talks on leadership that we have in the Driller Magazine. There's all of those pieces that can help us become better leaders and motivate. You know, and if it's a miscommunication or they're just not good at outlaying the plan, we as a company need to have that job book and every task that needs to be done from start to finish because that is incredibly important to us where we're going to finish the job, how we're gonna finish the job, how we're gonna finish the job safely. And I guess my final piece would be, you know, safely, uh, we just wrapped up a great conference in Myrtle Beach and uh, this Delta variant is a monster. And there's good men and women that uh, didn't catch the first round of uh, COVID and are now susceptible to this and it's highly contagious. And so you get back from the conference and you got a runny nose and you're like, oh, those darn allergies from coming from South Carolina to wherever I am now. You need to grab you know, your, your thermometer and check for that low grade fever. You need to go out and get tested. You need to consider the exposure that we all just had. And it's very smart for us right now to go back and look at the CDC self checker and look into if, uh, if I've been exposed or not. And uh, right now, the, the proof is in the science when it comes to being vaccinated. You know, 98% uh, of those in the hospital right now for COVID-19 are those who are unvaccinated. Um, we get the flu shot, we get the polio shot, you know, we, we get Tdap so we don't die of tetanus. We're one of the greatest countries in the world with the best, one of the best health systems in the world. We need to smarten up and operate safe through this second wave. And uh, if that means wearing your N95 mask, wearing your face covering, being smart, we gotta do it. Cheers, everybody. Be safe out there.